Hey Tubesters, it's Arvin Forrest Song, the Bougie Mystic. Um, I may be a little more quiet today because it's literally after midnight and I'm just now finally being able to do this prompt. Um, I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, I could have done it earlier in like the morning or even like early afternoon. I mean, not early afternoon, like, uh, like, uh, what am I trying to say? I guess early afternoon, like, like 12, 1230 ish. Um, but I was just kind of enjoying my weekend. I was like, oh, I still got time to record it. What's weird is that I think I was, like, having a subtle intuitive thought to do it. Because, like, I would periodically look at the clock like I was waiting for something or whatever. And I was like, oh, no, I can do it, but I got time. <laughs> and then, like, what was it, an hour and a half beforehand... A situation came up and I had to be there for somebody and I don't regret it and I'm not like blaming them or whatever you know sometimes shit happens they're doing decent we'll just put it like that I'm definitely gonna be doing a working for them uh, if you'd like to I, I can't share more than what I've already said so I know there's not a lot of information but if you feel comfortable or feel able to um, I, lighting a candle or, what, or whatever you feel comfortable doing saying some words would be very nice uh it's definitely a serious situation but it's not my business to share so moving on with the prompt today is about uh, a, a story or i forget exactly how it's worded but i know it's something about like words of wisdom or a story about your loved one or something like that and because um i don't know oh, Part of it might be because I don't have the best memory, but I don't have a lot of memories about people or a lot of uh, good memories. And, and the good memories that I do have, they're very, sh like, it's very short. It's like a little, a clip of a video, if you will. It, it, it's like a little snippet. So there's not much to explain with, with the good memories, but I do have one and I'll save that towards the end. Um. I'm going to start off with a word of wisdom. This is not from a family member, but it is a loved one. Uh, it's actually uh, uh, someone who used to be a substitute teacher for me in high school. Um, they were very awesome, very sweet, kind, uh, just a very good-natured person. And I'm actually going to take this quote that I've written down uh, and, and make it a... a What's the word? I'm sorry, y'all. It, it, I am tired. I really should be in bed, so I'm going to be stuttering a lot. But I'm going to turn this into a tattoo. That's that's what I said. I wanted to, I've been wanted to turn it into a tattoo for years, and I just haven't gotten around to it. But they told me years ago, I want to say junior year is when they told me this. So 11th grade. They said, be true to yourself. Be true to your goals. Don't be afraid to step outside of your box. And uh, th their name was Miss Taylor. Um, very beautiful woman, very special woman. Um, I'm very grateful that we've crossed paths. And uh, that is actually the first, not, I don't think you can see it, but this little black blob is a, a journal that I got from uh, Walmart. And it's kind of like my book of word adages or quotes. Um... So, and hers is the first one in there. Uh, and that's something that I try to live by uh, as much as I can anyway. Uh, now, the f little story is about my grams. And if you don't know, here's a little synopsis about my grams. Um, she is where I get all my ar artistic talent from. So if you've ever seen any of my arts and crafts videos or... If you've ever seen, I think it's probably more on Facebook, but if you've ever seen like any artwork that I've done, um, a lot of that talent just is what I got from her. And when I was younger and, and before she transcended to the uh, underworld, uh, we used to do like, art and craft together. We used to do uh, origami and like glue and stuff like that. Uh, she used to make my mother some clothing, so, like a... Uh, so that it was, she used to make me some too. I think it used to be pajamas. Um, but yeah, but it was just stuff like that. She did like baking, cooking. She's also where I get my love for baking. 
uh, and to a certain extent cooking. I get my cooking more from my mother. Um, but yeah, that, that's just a little synopsis of her. Now, the story <laughs> is... Uh, one time, I don't even remember why we went out to eat, but we went out to this local Chinese buffet that we used to go to all the time. It was our favorite. Um, unfortunately, it got shut down. Uh, the theory is that it was like a revolving door. If you know, you know. Um, but anyway, before that happened, and before my grams transcended, we went there one time, and I don't know what it was, but I think we were all really, really hungry. And... You know, uh, she got some food, and I think it was fresh, out out the oven or something like that, or out the pan or whatever. It was it was nice and hot. It was fresh, right? And she was eating it, and then all of a sudden she just goes, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but it's like really loud, and it's and and this is in a restaurant, so it's like all out in the public, <laughs> and. My mother's like, drink some water, and she, and she says, <laughs> and she says, and I quote, I don't want to ruin the flavor. <laughs> and so, that's my, my little funny story. And then we just busted up laughing at the table. <laughs> that she sounded like an ape out in public. Just because she didn't want to wait for her food to cool off. And then she didn't want to drink water to ruin the flavor. Uh, it's just, it's probably, it's my number one uh, fondest memory. Uh, like I said, I don't have much. I, it was kind of a rough childhood. I don't want to ruin the good vibes. But that is my, that is how I'm going to answer this prompt. So, thank you all so much for watching. And... Oh, blessed be, where's my... Almost forgot, almost forgot to do the thing. Um, oh, here it is. Today's witchy shout-out for the second day is Bossy Bruja. Um, I think she's been sharing some videos on YouTube. Uh, she doesn't share that frequently, but she has been sharing some videos recently. She has a very cool, uh, like... 90s aesthetic with her videos. She's much more active on Instagram, so definitely check her out there. The links will be down below. Um, I've shared her stuff before. She's a great. She does more of the hoodoo witchy stuff um, than just like regular eclectic or folk witch or anything like that. It is hoodoo centric. Uh, she is a African American woman, and she is just phenomenal. She inspires my practice a lot. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely see her content because I share her quite frequently in my stories. Um, and I've bought her oils, uh, quite frequently. M uh, a lot, actually. Let me grab one Ugh, that I can reach. This is a uninterrupted prosperity oil. Uh, I need to get some more because <laughs> I'm running out. But... Yeah, she just makes really beautiful scented oils, very potent and actually you can feel it vibrate out of the bottle. Um, and then you just smell immaculate as well. So, uh, thank you. So <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed after this. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for this tag, Starlight. Um, and I promise tomorrow will actually be uploaded tomorrow. It is a work day, so I want to record these the day of and upload them the day of. So it might be after work, so somewhere between 4 and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, so just wanted to let y'all know, but it will be <laughs> earlier uh, than this one. I'm going to upload this while I go to sleep, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. As always, abundant and eternal blessings. Mwah.